Hey everybody, how are you all doing today? So today's new video is going to cover the brand new Vader comic, issue 20. This one's pretty action packed and full of story, so if you guys haven't seen the last 20 videos that I covered on these comics, go check them out so you're all caught up in the Vader comics playlist. Now if you have, then let's begin. This one picks right up where we left off in the last issue. Vader goes to the room with the Inquisitors, mainly the woman who kidnapped the Jedi, Eeth Koth's child, walks right up to them and ignites his lightsaber and immediately strikes her as she is saved by her lover. Vader discards him as he throws him to the wall with the Force. As the Inquisitor asks Vader what she has done, where Vader says that he doesn't need to worry about it because he has now done it too. As the two escape, the Grand Inquisitor asks if he may be of service. Vader tells them there is no need and proceeds to leave the building, riding on the back of a shuttle piloted by two clones. What are we looking for, Lord Vader? Two Jedi, male and female. They will attack us. It is only a matter of time. Be wary, they are cunning. Their direction of attack may be unorthodox. As their two lightsabers come whirring at Vader like cyclones of death, they slice everything in their path. Vader hops from speeder to speeder, crashing pods on people and senators down below. As they try to throw one at him, he merely pushes it back to them, no problem, jumping finally to them. But when he does, a massive statue lands on his body, throwing him to the balcony. I don't believe it. We actually beat him. Not yet. He's still alive. As Vader freezes their bodies in midair, they turn to one another to say their sweet goodbyes. As he swiftly turns their bodies into one another, piercing their lightsabers into each other, and thus dying, Vader reports to the Emperor. You claim these Inquisitors you killed were traitors. Fair enough. But tell me, Lord Vader, where is your evidence? Fifth brother informed me that he observed the woman allowing Eve Koth's wife and daughter to escape. She only recaptured the child upon realizing she had been seen. I had my suspicions about her, my master. As the Emperor is very displeased that Vader made such a mess of his world, mainly killing a senator that he needed control of, remember this one, he told Vader it looks very bad on him if the world thinks that he can't control his men. As a result, he plans to move the Inquisitorius to another base on another world so that this will never happen again. Palpatine tells Vader to rise as he asks just how Eeth Koth tried to hide, where Vader tells him that he became a priest. Chuckling, Sidious says, he could have been anything, and he picked the closest thing to a Jedi he could find. <laughs> These fools can't help themselves. They deserve their extinction. Palpatine tells Vader that for his good work, he has a reward for him, taking him to the next room. For you, my apprentice, do you remember it? Vader stops dead in his tracks. Yes. The royal vessel of the lovely Padme Amidala. Such an elegant thing from an elegant world. Full restoration of the exterior should be complete in approximately two days, Emperor Palpatine. All interior systems are in working order and... Yes, perhaps it suits you better as it is. As Palpatine tells him that his work hunting the Jedi is done for the time being, he orders him to Alderaan to pay Senator Organa a visit and teach his world a lesson when Vader says no. Now, this is the first time since becoming Vader when he denies the Emperor officially like this in the comics. No? Palpatine responds. Vader asks for something. A world. As Sidious understands, he says, ah, of course, a world, a place to own your skills and unleash your rage when you want to, basically. This is where he starts throwing different worlds at him to choose from. How kind of him. Naboo, perhaps? I know you have connections to that planet. This is the esteem in which I hold you, my apprentice. I would give you my home world. Or your own Tatooine. You could burn its sand to glass. Repay your suffering there a thousand times over. No. Mustafa. <sighs> 
And that is the end of this comic, guys. I am extremely excited for the next issue. This is finally where Vader is going to be going to build his fortress on Mustafar, where it all happened. Now, this is also going to be the second time that he returns to the place where Obi-Wan dealt him that terrible blow on the high ground. Let alone him actually going back to the very same planet in the very same spot where he fell and became Darth Vader. Will be extremely emotional and very, very cool to see. So let me know, guys, down below in the comments, what do you think Vader will imagine and feel when he goes back to the planet in the next issue? How will they build his fortress? Now, we know Snoke has connections to it, as he did get Vader's obsidian ring from the catacombs beneath the castle. So did he do this before the castle was built or after? I guess we'll find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball... Uh, sorry, wrong show. I will see you guys all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember... The Force will be with you always. Oh.